So I'm the professor of zoology here at UCD, and I have been studying the most extraordinary order of mammals for the past 20 years, and these are the bats. One in five of every living mammal species is a bat. Bats are the only mammals that fly. They also have evolved mechanisms to allow them to slow down aging. They do not get cancer or old age diseases as would be expected given their very small body size and high metabolic rate. Bats have evolved a very unique and tolerant immune system that allows them to live with many, many different pathogens and viruses and to modulate their own immune response, not to get sick, but to be able to remove the disease before it kills them. So bats are really pretty extraordinary. So people everywhere are living longer. By the year 2050, which is going to be soon, there's going to be a 380% increase in people over the age of 80. If we don't expand our health span to match our lifespan, we're looking at a future full of the incapacitated elderly. So finding ways that we can age more healthily is crucial and important. Bats hold that secret. So I was looking down of the barrel of a gun. All of this work, we'd established this model system and I had no funding to keep going. And what happened was this ISSF funding appeared. So I applied and said, this is something that I really, really need. I've changed my research field. I just need bridging funding to allow me apply for other areas, to allow us get the papers out, to keep the project going. And I got it and it saved my entire research. It changed everything because without it, we wouldn't be where we are now. So I've kept this project going now for 10 years. Successfully got an IRC laureate funding, then successfully got SFI funding recently for tier funding to keep going. We also were able to establish BAT1K, work with all these researchers, publish these papers in Nature, really push and move the field forward. Without the ISSF, this wouldn't have happened because I wouldn't have been able to continue the longitudinal research. It saved the day. I then was able to, I applied for a promotion, I became a full professor, yay. We got the funding, we got the grants, we got the project, but more importantly, we were able to push a brand new field forward, develop bats as unique model systems to study aging and immunity. And this allows us to address grand challenges. And just with the ISSF, it made sure that that field kept going.